Well, it's time now for our technology update and joining us is our tech reporter, Paul Ndiho. Hello, Paul. Uh, hello, Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. Uh, Rwanda, Rwanda, like many African countries, is facing a severe shortage of app and web developers. Both government and private sectors are struggling to recruit employees with critical computer skills. Now, Jennifer Batamuliza, a, a 2019 Mandela Washington Fellow who is studying leadership in public management at Arizona State University, is working to change that image. She teaches her computer skills, encourages and mentors young women and girls in Rwanda to enter the field of science and technology. Jennifer, welcome. Thank you. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, why you're here in uh, Washington, D.C. So I'm here in Washington, D.C. for a summit. Um, we've had six weeks. Uh, we had leadership in public management. We have uh, leadership in entrepreneurship. We have leadership in civic engagement. So that's what Mandela Washington Fellowship is all about. Uh, talk to me about uh, your programs back home. You mentor younger uh, women uh, to get into IT field. Uh, you are also a lecturer. You teach uh, computer science at uh, some of the universities in Rwanda. Yeah. So um, I'm a lecturer. I teach IT courses in Rwanda at the university. So apart from that, I also do mentorship. I mentor young girls in IT. Um, OK, I mentor young girls in STEM, but I focus mostly on technology. I teach girls uh, soft skills, like um, soft skills. I teach them practicals, uh, programming, uh, pro programming languages such as Java. I teach them uh, C++. I teach them networking courses, cybersecurity courses. Yeah, and all that. Uh, how big is the tech market in Rwanda? So the tech market is very big in Rwanda because Rwanda is putting more efforts in technology. Uh, and Rwanda wants to go cashless. It wants to become the tech hub in Africa. So Rwanda is investing a lot of money in, in the, especially in young people. So that's why I want to be part of, of that. So um, Rwanda wants to go cashless. Uh, now we have many uh, programs in Rwanda. We have many applications such as Tap and Go. We have eSoko, eMarket that helps uh, farmers to buy their, I mean, to know the prices of their crops and many other things. Uh, very briefly, what's your takeaway from uh, this uh, fellowship? So takeaway from this fellowship, uh, I've done networking. The fellowship is about networking. The fellowship is also about leadership, so um, I've developed my leadership skills, um, and I'll use this uh, back home. Uh, I'll use that in my mentorship program, although I teach uh, IT, so I'm going to also include some uh, leadership skills, such as public speaking um, and many other courses on leadership. Well, uh, Jennifer, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, Jennifer. But Tamriza um, is a 2019 Mandela Washington Fellow. That's uh, today's uh, Take a Reporter. Back to you, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you, Paul. IT, it's all Greek to me. And be sure to join Paul and Dio each Wednesday for another tech segment right here on Africa 54.